love fish, but I love sushi the most. I love sushi. I love, uh, I love the raw fish. The Bay Area is home to many great sushi restaurants. Michi's in Campbell is one of them. Michi's in the Trin have the best sushi anywhere. And we've had it many places in the world. Shin Shin, owner of Michi's, strives to provide only the freshest sushi. This is the uh, bluefin tuna from uh, Australia. And I just get it today. It's, a, it's a from the airplane from the Austria to San Francisco. And behind every good sushi restaurant is a good sushi chef. Meet Randy Muster. It's been about six years that I've been making sushi professionally, and I've enjoyed every minute of it. His love for sushi started when he was a kid working on sport fishing boats in San Diego. One time, a group of sushi chefs came out fishing, and we became friends with them. And so we started bringing fresh fish to them and getting free sushi. So I started becoming addicted to sushi, eating it all the time because it was free. It wasn't until college that Randy learned how expensive sushi can be. So he got creative. And I started going to fish markets and buying fish and making it at home for myself and for my roommates. When I graduated from college and moved up to the Bay Area, I eventually found Michi Sushi uh, when I moved to Campbell. Michi's is also making news by having one of the only female sushi chefs in the Bay Area. I always have a craving for sushi, even on my days off. Joyce Kuo has been a sushi chef for two years. I actually was a regular at this sushi bar for a while, and I was sitting at the bar when Mr. Shin, the owner, asked me if I wanted a job. And I said, yeah, I'll take a job, but I don't want to be a waitress. I want to be a sushi chef. Japanese culture and tradition is very male-dominated. I've been to a lot of sushi bars and never met a female sushi chef. And Mainly, I think that's because it's very non-traditional. There are other things about Mishis that are not traditional. And Mr. Shin's a Korean. Over 50% of sushi restaurants in the Bay Area, as well as California, are owned by Koreans. And a lot of people don't know that. Usually, Korean sushi restaurants are a little more laid back, a little more kind of freestyle or fusion style. Uh, Japanese want to hold the tradition, um, so usually their restaurants are a little more strict on how they train their chefs and, and stick into their culture. Sush is heaven, right? <laughs> you know, it's a, what's the michi mean? It's a michi mean is a highway to heaven. People who are new to sushi frequently have questions like, is it safe or what is sushi etiquette? So we asked sushi chef Randy from Michi's for some guidelines. First, about food safety. Sushi's uh, very safe. Um, even though it's not cooked, it's uh, handled extremely well from the minute it gets out of the ocean um, into the transportation service um, to usually SFO and then um, our delivery trucks go by, pick up the fresh fish there. We don't keep fish around very long since it does break down fast. So instead of ordering a very large shipment each time, we order small shipments so they come on a regular basis. Does the price of sushi reflect the quality? There are certain sushi restaurants that kind of compete with each other by lowering the prices on sushi. Um, that's kind of a downfall because then they have to keep the fish a lot longer um, and then the fish starts breaking down. Are there any fish about which we should be cautious? Most of the sushi is saltwater sushi and the main reason for that is fr uh, freshwater fish can have bacteria that can live in us. Saltwater bacteria, it's a little more difficult for them to get into our system and survive and replicate and in order uh, for us to get sick. Um, salmon is a fish that lives in salt water as well as fresh water. So we have to be very careful when we buy salmon and how we store it and um, some of the things we do to salmon that we might not do to other fish in order to uh, make sure that it's going to be fresh as well as safe for our customers. What are the proper ways to eat sushi? Eating sushi with your fingers is uh, acceptable. You can always ask for a fork if you don't feel comfortable using chopsticks. 